Hi, this is Kevin Zahner. I was just changing some of these presentations that I've been giving for several years. Uh, this one is a, a Federalist Papers presentation. Changing it from more of a sit and get, uh, students take notes, then take a quiz the next day approach to um, something a little bit more active. And I thought, well, let's do drop some uh, questions in with the Poll Everywhere extension that I use with Google Slides. Um, so we can do some checks for understanding as we go uh, and see where they are. And then I realized, wait a second, we could use the uh, click on a region option that Poll Everywhere has. So they have this uh, option for um, uh, students to click on a particular region, be great for maps and things like that. Uh, maybe identifying places on diagrams for, for cells or um, you know, analyzing any kind of diagrams for science or um, or whatnot, um, and I, I my my just started going crazy. I realized, okay, slow down. This is cool, all cool stuff, but realistically, um, I just need them to learn this, understand it, and I need to know, you know, how well they know it. So I made a copy, and then I cut out all the stuff, all the stuff that I don't really need. And I realized, you know, they, they have quite a bit of background on the Constitution. I'm very confident that at this point in the lesson cycle, um, they know uh, the structure and, and some of the ratification issues and, and things like that. So I really want to check whether they can identify um, uh, a Federalist or Anti-Federalist point of view. If they can interpret um, a primary source uh, and choose Federalist or Anti-Federalist. So I have all these... Um, different selections from primary and secondary sources that show the Federalist and Anti-Federalist points of view. I just made it into a slide presentation. So this is going to be easy um, to, to manage since I already had the slide presentation. And then uh, it'll be easy to go to File and then go to Download As and Download PNGs that I can later upload into Poll Everywhere and make new polls. So I've already done a couple. I'm going to create a new poll in the place where we can create a question and I'm going to click on the clickable image. They have an example here of like a map, right? And like I said earlier, it's great for map studies, um, but we can use it really for anything. So it could be a diagram. So we're going to upload this uh, one of the files that I already downloaded from the slide presentation. So let's do this one. And when it loads here, uh, we're going to just click to add a region. I'm going to make a little adjustment here to adjust that region. And you can always edit it after you make the question. These regions are, are pretty easy to edit. And I'm going to make another region. This will be region 2. Uh, these will be the regions where the students will, will click, and it will keep track of how many students clicked in that region. I'm going to create this question. And then we're going to test it to see what it looks like. Now, I haven't done this with my students yet. I haven't used this uh, click in a region. So I'm going to tell my students, um, this is the first time we've done this. I've actually never tried it with another class. So, you know, um, I'm looking for, you know, your attention to, to detail in terms of like what we're doing here. Is this, is this, uh, you know, something that's helpful? Is it, uh, is there something about this that didn't work well for you? Um, before we get, you know, frustrated about something, you know, like just know that your your feedback and your your um, input is going to help me make this better uh, for other students. So, like I said, I'm going to edit this and do some fine tuning, and then I'll add a title. I forgot to add the title, so it's a little bit easier, I think, to uh, adjust these regions in this larger um, editing window. Choose uh, Federalist or Anti-Federalist uh, by clicking in the region. Let's test this out. I'm going to test it by pushing this to um, my pollev.com forward slash zoner. For those of you who know 
uh, how Poll Everywhere works. There's this URL that you can use to push questions to. It's really nice because uh, I can actually just have the students go to this one URL and I can, with my phone, with the app, just push different questions to it. They don't have to go to different places. I can control what's on their screen and it, it helps keep uh, them focused on the discussion as opposed to like looking around at other things that they could be you know, uh, on their screens. So this one right here says, uh, it's talking about extensive powers. Legislative powers are united the same person. Uh, there can be no liberty. I'm pretty sure this is uh, going to be anti-federalist. And we'll go back and see what that looks like when the students select. So it actually gave us where they selected, which is not important for this one necessarily, but it also keeps a, a count. So if there's uh, 20 students and 15 choose anti-federalist, it's going to say 15 and five chose federalist. Now we know that the majority of the students um, uh, know that it's anti-federalist. We might use that question like, you know, what, why is it not federalist to guide a discussion at that point? Okay, uh, so it gives you that information right away. That's really cool. Um, but realistically, when it comes Tuesday or Wednesday for me to do this, um, do this presentation, with students, uh, I'm I'm probably gonna uh, review some of the the basics of of uh, the the Constitution, and then put this up on the on the projector. Have them stand up um, if they've had a lot of screen time already that day. Have them stand up and do a total body response. And you know, I love poll everywhere; it works great. Um, I, you just saw me make those questions; it's really fun. Um, but really, it's about options. I have the option to have them do it quietly on their own. Um, or within a discussion, or I have the option to just, you know, use the Google Slides and have them stand up, do a total body response. Um, all the students move to your your right as you look at the projector for anti-federalist, or move to the left of the room um, for federalist. And so, you know, these kids need to be moving, and that's important. Um, stay tuned for my future blog uh, vlog posts um, about total body movement and student voice. Thanks for watching.